Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss cow scattering tool in detail. And uh, let me just show you how we can use the scattering tool to our, to our advantage. So first of all, in order to access the cow scattering tool, you can access it either from the toolbar or from the command panel window. So just click on the standard primitives, the drop down menu, and here we have the second last option, cow scatter tool. And just click on it and click and drag in your viewport. So you have this icon in your software. Or you can just click on this first icon in the toolbar and click and drag. So now you have a nice cow scatter tool inside your viewport. All right, so let's discuss how and where we can use the, scatter, uh, the cow scattering tool. So first of all, let me just create a box right here. And I want 10 copies of this box like this. So now you can see I have a uniform scattering of this single box. But now what I can't do is I cannot change the spacing between them so or if i can this will be a very tidy work so you can say i have to go all over again delete the copies and then just copy them again <clears throat> but with the cow scattering tool we can do this on a fly so let me just create a simple straight line in the x direction and I want to scatter this box on this line. So first of all just keep one thing in mind that you inside the inside your software you have to deal with coordinate system so there is one global coordinate system which, uh, which here is the representation of that which means the x-axis goes in this direction z-axis in the upward direction and y-axis to the perpendicular of the x-axis so if my objects are following the global coordinate system, then I have the very right response of the tools. So they will respond correctly. So what I mean is if I just, oh yeah, by the way, uh, with the global uh, coordinate system, we have the local coordinate system. Let me just quickly create an object, let's say a box. <clears throat> In the front view all right so now i have almost the same box same box but if i switch from the global to local axis if i select this box you can see my gizmo is following the orientation of the global axis which means the x is on this direction see the x is the same direction z axis in the top z axis in the top and y here but if i select this one which i've just created in the front view you can see that my z axis is following the wrong direction so it's not follows the global orientation of the you know, coordinate system. So if I select my cow scattering tool and let me just quickly uh, add them in the, you know, scattering tool. We'll discuss this in 
So let me just add a line here and our scattering box. So as soon as I click on the box, on this box, which I've created in the front view, see what will happen. So all of a sudden, <clears throat> you can see all the boxes instead of going in the vertical direction, they are just laid out in the in the x, y plane. So now what I will do is I can go under the transformations and, you know, dial in the orientation, see which uh, axis is going to make them the vertical one. So rather than doing this, if I just set this gizmo, set my local coordinates, aligned with the global coordinate system and just go in the utilities select on the utilities and click on the reset x form and just click on the reset selected as soon as i click on the research selected you can see now i have nice vertical boxes scattered all over this line let's just <clears throat> delete this box and we are going to add our box which i have created and the <clears throat> let me just also delete this scatter uh, tool and quickly add up a new one all right so let's just add another scatter here and let me cl close all the rollouts before going in the objects rollout, let me just open this scattering rollout. Here we have a nice option of scatter lister. If I just click on this, there's a dialog box open which shows me all the scattering tools I've been using in the in the view uh, in this scene. Let me just close this. So let me just show you the three options of the scattering tool. So for, for now, the by default option is the mode is uh, 2D on surfaces. So if I click on this drop down menu, we have three different modes, the on splines, on surfaces, and in bounding box. So the best option here that makes sense to our scenario is the on splines. So if I just click on the on splines, so one thing you might notice that my rollouts gets updated. So what does that mean? Let me just quickly drag this up. So the by default is on surfaces. And here you can see if I collapse all the rollouts, we have the surface scattering rollout here. But here we need the on spline and on spline or spline scattering settings. So if I just switch from on surfaces to on splines, you can see my surface scattering turns into spline scattering. So let's open the spline scattering rollout. And here we have the first option of spacing. So which I just mentioned earlier, that uh, I can control the scattering with reference to the spacing. <clears throat> so let's actually do that. Let's actually just add the boxes and the lines in our objects rollout. So the rollout, let's open this objects rollout. And uh, the first option is distribute on target objects. So here we are going to add those objects on which you are going to scatter the objects. All right, so let's add the line in our distribution on target objects. You can do it either by just clicking on the plus sign 
and click on the line or you can or if you have multiple objects you can do it by using by going into the lister and you can select the multiple objects and add up on the right side so we have for now we have only one object let me just click on the plus icon and click on the line so here we have the line added and under this section we have another section that says instanced model objects and here you have to add those objects which you want to scatter so let me just click on the plus icon we have a single object so the plus icon will do the thing and click on the box and as soon as i click on the box you can see the box has been scattered on the line but now you can see that we cannot see the boxes like in the in the solid mode so to view them in the solid mode you have to just go in the display and limits rollout open it and here we have the previous type which says the wire box just switch from the wire box to full and you have all the boxes right in front of you all right so next thing you might notice that the box our main box is has this orientation okay but on the scatter each box is kind of being rotated in the z axis and that's we don't we actually don't want this so let's go under the transformations for now and in the rotation section we have the values from 0 to 360 so that's actually rotating our box in the z axis and let's just dial in zero so get the nice orientation of our boxes all right so now let's get back to the spline scattering rollout and here we have uh, our spacing option and let's just increase the spacing so you can see i can control the spacing and the number of copies on a fly if i want to increase the number of copies i can just reduce the spacing and if i want less number of copies i can increase the spacing between them 